Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Harakakwadash. That's all praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls God, in the name of Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, in the name of the Holy Spirit. I want to give a double honor to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. And I want to say Shalom to you, sincere Akim, you men that are prophesying and laboring throughout the four winds of this earth in all truth and sincerity. Shalom. All right. Um, the title of this lesson is going to be Esau will soon be on the other, other side of slavery. All right. Because you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. All right. Our slavery is almost up. All right. We did our time. All right. We served our punishment from the Heavenly Father for going off, following after these different gods and deities and worshiping these, worshiping these other gods, these holidays, and following all these vain, wicked philosophies of this world in Esau. All right, so yeah, we went off, we, we, and we served our time. Our time is up. And it's now it's time to pass that cup, all right, to Esau. All right, so Esau is going to drink of that cup of slavery, all right, and, 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 and all the things that come with it, all right? They have to, they're the ones that got to build up our, society, our, our kingdom, all right? They're going to build the kingdom of heaven up, all right, with, with, their, with their slave labor, all right? So, um, and, and I want to bring up this, um, this video clip. It's not that long. Um, of this Edomite right here um, that I think he was a governor of Virginia and it recently came out. He, he'd been revealed just like the rest of these Edomites are being revealed in these last days that, you know, we know his, we know these Edomites that's up in these governments ain't nothing but, 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 but uh, Edomite devils. All right. But it was revealed that um, he was in a yearbook uh, picture in blackface or um, I don't know which one he was. It's blackface or he had a KKK robe on. OK, so it just shows you the true spirit of these devils. And then he goes on this this interview on uh, CBS this morning, and um, he basically says that you you your slave labor, you Negroes, Latino, Native Americans, that you were indentured indentured servants. All right, so let me play this uh, quick little um, uh, uh, video clip real I know quick. This has been a very difficult week for you in the state of Virginia. So where would you like to begin? Well, it has been a, a difficult week, and, and you know, if you look at Virginia's history, we're now uh, at the 400-year anniversary, uh, just 90 miles from here. Uh, in 1619, the first uh, indentured servants from Africa landed on our shores in Old Point Comfort, what we call now Fort Monroe, and while... Also known as slavery. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. She had to check him on that, all right? Yeah, that was slavery. There weren't no in damn indentured servants. All right, and when you go to the word indentured, let me look it up. Indentured means a legal agreement, contract, or document. All right, there was no contract between the uh, uh, Benjamin, Judah, and Levi with these Edomites. All right, there wasn't anything documented. Okay, In any contract that they signed, like okay, we'll come over here and do this work. No, it was it was it was by force. All right, by the hands of those Hamites and the rest of the heathen nations, all right? All these nations had a hand in the captivity of Benjamin, Judah, and Levi, and all the tribes, all right? It tells you that in um, Psalms uh, 83rd chapter, all right? So we weren't no damn indentured servants, all right? Let me see. I mean, uh, I want to get the whole definition of this word right here, indentured servant, if you let me. And I, I just Google it, man. Slock. Indentured servants became a vital to colonial economy. And, and of course, this is Esau's technology. Is is uh, so he's going to put uh, that in there like it was a, um, you know, like 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 it's a, uh, you know, to make you believe it, basically, to make you believe that those those weren't slaves. Those were indentured servants. Let me see. Indentured servant definition. Um, let me see. Let me go to Merriam Webster. Oh, shit. It just says it right there. A person who signed and is bound by indentures to work for another for a, specific, a specified time, especially in return for payments of travel. And let me see. This thing is. Satan, of course, Satan wants to mess with the uh, the connection. Oh, 
Oh, don't worry about it. But these 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 Edomites, man, they they're so proud. They 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 don't even realize what took place. And if they do realize it, they're so proud to not even admit it. All right. Let me get this first script. Um, this is Psalms, the seventy third chapter. Come on now. Salakia, Esau, being the devil that he is, messing with the internet connection. But this is Psalms, the 73rd chapter and the 8th verse. They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily. All right? They, they, don't, they don't take account of the oppression of our people. All right? They're calling us indentured servants. They're saying any and everything that but what it actually was, slavery. All right? And, and these Edomites, the pride of these devils, man, is, 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 is through the roof. All right? Um, this is Obadiah chapter uh, 1 and verse 3. The pride of thy heart has deceived thee. Thou dwellest in the clefts of the rocks, whose inhabitation is high, that saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? All right? These devils think they can never be brought down. The pride of their heart. They're, the, they're so prideful that they think that, you know, that, that the slavery they did, it was nothing wrong with it. It was it was righteous, all right. And, and they did they, the majority of the slavery they did in the name of Christianity, okay. So these devils, man, they, they're the pride of these devils. But what does the scripture say concerning um, concerning slavery, concerning uh, 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 captivity? All right, I'm gonna get that because if you look to the if you look go back to Genesis between uh, in the beginning when uh, Jacob and Esau, the scripture clearly says that. The elder shall serve the younger. And who came out first? Esau. Esau, the, the, you Edomites, the so-called white man. He was, he came out first. And it said Esau, I'm so like, it said Jacob held to his, um, held his heel. All right, this is Deuteronomy, the uh, 25th chapter. And uh, let me I started the 23rd verse. And the Lord said unto her, two nations are in thy womb and two manners of people shall be separated from my bowels. Two nations, Jacob and Esau. All right. Esau and his dukes and Jacob and the 12 patriarchs. All right. The 12 tribes of Israel. And one people shall be stronger than the other. All right. That's talking about Jacob. All right. And the elder shall serve the younger. All right. It's plain right there. All right. I'm going to jump down to 26 verse. And after that came his came out his brother, Salakia. So I'll read a uh, 25th verse. And the first came out red all over like in hairy garment, and they called his name Esau. So who, that clearly shows you who came out first, Esau. So he that made him the elder. And after came out his brother, and his hand held, and his hand took hold of Esau's heel, and his name was called Jacob, and Isaac was three score years old when she when she bare them. All right. So these Edomites are, are, are born servants. All right. They're, they're born to serve their younger brother, um, their younger brother, Jacob. All right. Come on, let me. Um, and these Edomites know what's coming to them. All right. They 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 know that slavery. They know that the end is their end is near and they know they're going to have to go into slavery. Why do you think they're trying to go into outer space? They're building all these um, the, the, these bunkers, these underground uh, uh, cities, these underwater cities. All right, I just read an article where, where people, they're really trying to, to go to, uh, to live on the moon, all right, to, to live anywhere but here in America, all right, where these Edomites got to face their judgment, all right? Esau, you, you had a, you had a, a, a they had their ride, they had their time where they ruled, and, and, and wickedness, of course. It's a lot, excuse me. Let me get this verse. This is Amos 9. And um let's see. I'll start at verse 2. Though they dig into hell, then shall my hand bring them out. All right, why are these Edomites digging into hell? All right? Hell meaning not hell where fire you burn forever. That's a that, that's a, a fairy tale made up by the uh, Catholic Church to, to scare people. But hell is hell basically means the grave, all right, or um, or or a condition. In this in this verse, it means the grave. 
These devils are digging into hell, digging into the ground to to um in these bunkers, in these underground bunkers, in these underground cities, all right, where they know the destruction is coming and they know that they're going to have to slurve hardcore safe slavery, okay? And they're run, doing any and everything they can to, to get out of that, to run from it, all right? Though they dig into hell, then shall my hand take them, then, then shall my hand take them. Though they climb up to heaven, then shall I bring them down. They climb up to the heavens. They got space stations. They're trying to live on Mars and the moon. All right, they're trying to have, um, you know, like these 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 so-called utopian societies out in space. All right, uh, verse three, and though they hide themselves in top of Carmel, I I will search them out and take and take them out thence. And thou, and though they be hid from my sight in the bottom of the sea, thence will I command the serpent, and he shall bite them. That serpent's talking about Leviathan. All right, they, they said they, they hide themselves on top of Carmel. All right, it's a mountain. All right, they have underground, like they have mountains that's thousands of feet under the ground where these devils are trying to hide. All right, they have underground cities. That's why it said they 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 hid, they they be hid from my sight in the bottom of the sea. All right? And though they go into captivity before their enemies, thence I will command the sword and it shall slay them and I will set my eyes upon them for evil and not for good. All right. So the heavenly Father, through His Son Yahweh Shai, is 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 gonna is gonna uh, smite these devils with the sword. All right. And and, and we know that it's gonna be some um, some of those e elite bankers that's gonna hide in these bunkers, and they're gonna survive the destruction. But what does the scripture say? Those are gonna be the first slaves. All right. This is um. Psalms, what is it, 190, 140, 190, 149, and verse 6. Let the praise, let the high praises of the Most High be in their mouth and a two edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punish punishments upon the people, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. All right? So in the real kings of the society are not really not Trump or Putin. It's the elite bankers. All right. Your, your Rockefellers, your uh, um, your DuPonts, your Gettys. All right. Uh, your um, what's the other one? Your, your Rothschilds. Those are the kings of this earth. All right. That's ruling right now. The head rulers. All right. And those are those kings that's going to th those are those Edomites like you. That's going to um, that's going to be in those uh, those bunkers. There's going to be. In those in those uh, underground those under those mountains and stuff that they're gonna we're gonna bind with uh, with chains and uh, fetters of iron. All right, uh, verse nine to execute upon them the judgment written. This honor have all his saints praise ye the Lord. All right, the saints are the Israelites and the elect along with Yahweh Shai is going to be the ones that that take them out of those those uh, space stations and those holes in the ground and, and those bunkers. All right, to take them into slavery. All right, these devils, they got to serve hardcore slavery for a thousand years. They have to build up our kingdom. All right, they got to pay. And the product, these, these devils think that, you know, what was done is done. All right, well, they like, they like to say, well, that wasn't, um, that wasn't, uh, that wasn't my, my, my people, you know, or that wasn't, that was, that was my ancestors. I don't have to pay for that. Bullshit. What the scriptures say? Isaiah 14 and, um, 21. Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities. Okay, so you have you we have to pay for the iniquity of our forefathers, going off following after these false gods and deities and, and religions and and uh, uh, false ways of life. Okay, you got to do the same thing. That cup is being is going to be passed to you, Esau. All right. And you and your and your seed, okay. So all you Edomites that say that you know, um, you know that was your forefathers, you shouldn't have to pay. You're in the position you're in because of your forefathers, all right. You Edomites can 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 be proud and, and talk shit and and, and um, make a mockery of our slave labor because of your forefathers, okay. The, the, like the scripture said, the pride of thy heart has deceived you, all right. Uh, next script I want to get is um, let's see. 
Exodus 21 and 16. And he that stilleth a man and selleth him, or he that, or he, or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. All right. So who stole us from the um, west coast of Africa? All right. And so and sold us. All right. The so-called white man. He had his fingerprints all over that, all over the transatlantic slave trade, and also he had his hand in the genocide and the slavery of the Northern Kingdom, the so-called Native Americans and the Latino tribes. Okay. But the but the the slavery of Benjamin Judah and Levi is is more, the most documented, all right? Because the pride of these devils, everything that took place during the slave times, they 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 were so prideful they took pictures of it, they save it as a memory, okay? They put uh, uh, lynchings on postcards. That's the pride of this devil, and never thought that it would be found out that these that the people that they did that to, um, that they would just swipe it under, sweep it under the rug, all right? But the, the 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 men of the Lord are waking up. The elect of Israel is waking up to Esau's bullshit, and he's being exposed on all levels. Okay, so he stole us and sold us, and we're still found in his hand. So he's going to have to pay. All right. So the majority of these Edomites in America and throughout the worst the world is going to be put to death. All right. But they're going to come back through the 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 loins of their wicked forefathers. Their wicked and those those like yeah, their four yeah their forefathers. And the and the elite, all right, the leader of the society, that those um, those bankers, okay. Um, let me see. Uh, your next group I want to get is Lamentations chapter four and twenty one. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, thou dwellest in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shall make thyself naked. That cup is talking about slavery. All right. That cup is talking about all the wicked deeds you've done to the apple of the Most High's eye, Israel. All right. Mainly his elect. All right. Because you're going to have to, the, the scripture says, it, man, there's so many scriptures that say that, 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 that basically, um, I say that basically, uh, say that you're going to have to pay for what you've done in the past. All right. All right. Every, 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 every man, every woman in this world is going to have to pay for their sins. All right. So Esau, you're no different. All right. You're going to have to pay for the wickedness you've done to the children of Israel. All right. Let me get this script real quick. Uh, Psalms chapter 28 in verse four, give them according to their deeds and according to the wickedness of of their endeavors give them after the work of their hands render to them their their dessert all right so it, you're going to get what according to your wicked deeds all right everything you've done to the children of israel the slavery the rape rob and murder all right of the northern kingdom also the genocide of the uh, the uh, native americans you're going to you're going to experience that all right and ultimately after a thousand years of slavery you're going to get Obadiah uh, 1 and 18. You're going to get exterminated. No, It says no seed of Esau shall remain. All right? And, and that's prophecy. That's going to happen. These things have to happen. All right? The man, the Lord is a man that he should not lie. All right? So the Lord, we're not going to get in the kingdom. And after you Edomites build up the kingdom, the Lord's going to be like, no, you know what, man? No, I'm, 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 I'm going to let him live. No. The Lord's going to say, hey, this was written and this must happen. All right? After that thousand years of slavery. All right. Um, kind of next group I want to get is um, let's see. Y'all yeah, get this first. This is um, back in Isaiah, the fourteenth chapter, and I'm gonna start at verse one. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land, and the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. All right, so the Lord is going to set us in the land of Israel, our, our land. Those Amalekites, those fake Jews over there in the land right now, they're not the real Jews. And they go, got put in that land through the Belfort Declaration, okay? The the Edomites, uh, uh, Esau put himself in that land and called himself the people, all right? So that land, that place got to be destroyed too. That the, the land is going to be 
wiped out over there also, along with America and the, the majority of this, of, this, of this planet. All right. Verse verse 14 and two uh, chapter 14, verse two. And the and the people shall take them and bring them to their place and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. All right. <laughs> y'all going to be slaves. OK. Y'all gonna y'all y'all gonna be slaves. Not gonna you're not gonna be no indentured servants or nothing like that. Servants and handmaids, and they shall take them captives, whose captives they were. All right, who's been captive? Who, who who's captive right now? The Israelites, the Lord's people, the apple of the Most High's eye, and they shall rule over their oppressors. All right, the scriptures say that we're gonna rule over you. We're gonna rule you with a rod of iron. Okay, that's plain. What is that? What is that? What what, what is that? That's slavery. Or that's hardcore slavery. All right. And it's going to be a righteous slavery. All right. We're not going to be, you know, we're not going to be doing no uh, 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 buck breaking and all that wicked ass shit y'all did in slavery. But it's going to, you're going to, you're going to work. You're going to do uh, uh, strenuous work from sundown, from, from, from sun up to sundown, except six days a week, except on the Sabbath. Okay. And, and I don't really know how you eat them. I just going to survive, man. Okay, because because with 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 just the oppression that's coming to America, you know, you eat mice is losing it. You're resorting to drugs. You you're resorting to uh, your suicide rates is 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 through the roof. Okay, so once you get in that kingdom, you're not gonna have no drugs to 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 uh to um you know um to uh uh you know to 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 what is the word? So it's, it's, it's missing me, but you ain't gonna have no drugs to suppress your uh. Suppress your sorrows and stuff, man. All right? You ain't going to be able to commit suicide. All right? Because if you do, <laughs> your ass going to get brought back to life and get your ass right back to work. All right? Um, I'm going to get the definition of slavery. Uh, a state of being a slave, a, the practice of a system of owning slaves, a condition compared to that of a slave in respect to exhausting labor or restricted freedom. And that's what the, that's what the so-called Negroes, Latino, Native Americans that's what happened to us, and that's what's going to happen to you, Edomites. All right, you're going to go in chains. All right, and you want to—I don't know how you're going to get over to the land, but you're going to get over there, Lord willing. We're going to put you on ships or something. All right, you're not just going to—you know—it ain't going to be no plane ride. It ain't going to be no United uh, American Airlines flight over to uh, the the land. You're going to go in ships also. All right. I want to get this actually. This definition. Uh, let me see. Because this shows something here I wanted to, to read. Uh, it's like, I get it. It, it, it don't matter. Um, let me see if I had something else. Mm. Of course, the last, the last, the last group I want to get is uh, Revelations. 13 and I'm um, sorry at 9 if any man have an ear let him hear he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword here is the patience and the faith of the saints the saints are Israelites all right and who led us into captivity it is as plain as day Esau the so-called white man all right and all the rest of the heathen nations had their hand in it all right you got Hamites coming out in Ghana you know, apologizing for their hand in our captivity and selling us to the, uh, the Edomites for, uh, you know, musket guns and wine. All right. They had their hand in it. They're going to be in the kingdom of heaven in slavery. Also. All right. The, 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 the rest of the nation, the Edomites, all right. All of them had their hand in our slavery one way or another. All right. So they led us into captivity. All right. And we're going to lead them into captivity. All right. And, and, the, the, they, you know, the majority of them, they killed us with the sword, starting with Esau. He's the head. All right. And then they're going to be, they're going to be smitten with the sword also. All right. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. So the saints, the Israelites, the elect, we're patiently waiting for this day. All right. To get our hands, to get to, for the Lord, to give us the power to, so we can get our hands on these devils and, and put them in uh, uh, chains and fetters of iron. All right. That's the, pa the patience and the faith of the saints. All right. So Esau, your, your, your slavery is, is right around the corner or your captivity is right around the corner. So, you know, and they know it. They see this place going down. 
Okay, but like I said, they're trying to escape. They're trying to, uh, um, you know, go into outer space, trying to uh, leave America. They're trying to do any and everything to escape the judgment and the captivity that's that that that's on the way. All right. So, you know, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. And, and you know, Esau, you know, we know you, you know, you got a, a, but a short time. OK. And we know you got a short time and we know that your slavery is 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 nigh at hand. All right, so I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Yahweh Kakradash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and salutation to the hopeful elect. Shalom.